You guys love them. I love making them. Hey guys, today we're back. We're back in Blender once again. 2.8 Eevee. Hey guys, welcome back to Test by Kai. I'm Kai, and today we're back. Again, I did that all kinds of out of order today. I don't... Okay, well, we'll just pretend that didn't happen. Alright, so what we're gonna be doing is we're doing this cool, minimalistic, uh, motion graphic text reveal. Clap, clap. For the minimalistic, uh, motion graphics, because I love those. We're gonna get started. It's very simple. We'll hit delete on default cube. I'm... Huh, yeah. Um, we're gonna hit shift A to add in some text right here. Boom. And now uh, we can just use my minimalist button to pan around and scroll in and out there. Go up to the text tab on the right hand side and of course we're going to open up font. And we're going to change, hit this little uh, folder and change our font here. And once you've found all your fonts, you're going to go ahead and uh, pick one of them. I'm going to pick uh, just a really simple, chunky font, maybe something like that. So I'm going to go in steel and go to open up that font and then just hit open there. Now you got the text. I'm going to hit tab. To, to edit the text and just hit delete a couple times and then type in a word that I want but ironically for this I'm just gonna retype the word text because <laughs> that that's just gonna be on the thumbnail <laughs> so that's what we're gonna do type in whatever you want there um, but what we're gonna do is now we're gonna scroll on down to uh, the, the, the alignment and change the horizontal from left to center and then we can just uh, go over here hit RX 90 on my numpad and then left click to confirm that movement now we go ahead and look at that. It's it's facing straight up now. I'm gonna go ahead and hit zero on my cam on my numpad to go into my camera's view and hit R uh R no, no control <laughs> Alt G and Alt R uh, with our camera selected Alt G Alt R to clear the rotation and location. Then I'm gonna hit R X ninety on my numpad again. Left click to confirm that and then G double tap Z and we're gonna pull that back just down like that. So now we got the camera back there, which is what we need. And that looks pretty good to me. So uh, we can go ahead and either move the camera up or move the text down. I'm going to move the text down. So select our text and then go and scroll on down to line spacing. I'm sorry, offset Y, not line spacing. Uh, offset Y. And then we're just going to go and push that down a little bit until it's right. So I'm going to go. Every text is going to be different, but two point, negative 0.25 looks pretty good for me. So I'm going to do that, which looks nice. We're halfway done, I promise. <laughs> which is, is super simple I said uh, we're gonna go to random viewport shading up here hitting that little circle the fourth one um, we're gonna go ahead and go to the world tab change the color to solid white and then go to the scene no to the scene tab and then change the color management from filmic to standard because that's annoying should be solid white like this now and then we'll go to the colors tab materials tab with our text selected still we'll drop this down and select a material and then we'll give this, uh, it doesn't really matter if it has a color or not, it doesn't, it doesn't really need one. Um, so we'll just ignore that for now. We'll go back to the um, uh, text tab and change up at the top the geometry. I'm going to change that extrude value and turn that up a little bit. Now we got the whole scene set up, we can turn that up. We're going to turn that up, it doesn't matter how, how high it goes really, to be honest with you. We just need it to be some type of thick. So it can be, you know, just that big, whatever. But I'm going to make it a little bit bigger so you can see it easier. Alright, so hit Shift A mesh plane then rx 90 so now what we have is if i go back to solid viewport shading you can see i have a plane intersecting with our our text if i zero to go back to the camera's view i can hit s on our plane to scale it up to the to the top of the camera so it goes right out of the out of the view and then hit sx to scale on the x-axis to scale it, uh this direction make sure it's outside of the camera's view now all right so now that we got that done we can go ahead and we can go ahead and select our plane and go to the uh, the modifiers tab here. Add a modifier, boolean, boom right there, and then choose our object. Now this object is gonna be our text, of course, and you can see as soon as we do that, uh, you have that little outline there indicating that there's a, a little bit of a difference going there. So if we choose intersect, it's gonna do that, which we don't want. Make sure that's on difference, then hit apply. Now, when we move our text away, you can see that we now have a hole where our text used to be. So now we don't need the text anymore, we can hit delete on that, and now it's totally fine the way that it is. So. Hit zero to go into the camera's view, and then we can go ahead and do what I want to do now, which is all going to be fun. So, since our background is still white, um, we're going to make sure our, our plane is also that same white color. So, we're going to go ahead and, and go to the material tab and select that same material that we had earlier um, and make sure that's solid white. So, we're going to pull that all the way up. Now, if I go, if I turn my overlays off, uh, turn my overlays off, you can't see where this word says text. So, what we're going to do is the final step is hit uh, Shift A to add in one more plane. And then hit RX 90 on your numpad, and then GY to move it back behind the white plane. Now, 
go back to solid viewport chain so you can see the plane is now behind this plane back here now what we're going to do is I'm, oh i'm gonna make sure our cursor's in the center by going up to uh b -b 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 snap cursor to world origin and then we're going to go ahead and just do that again so shift a mesh plane rx90 and move back all right so make sure that's in the center or else it's going to be off center or whatever so hit s x and cover the entire word text make sure that 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 entire thing is covered so whatever is back there it could just really be this small if you want it to be um but i'm going to make it bigger just so you guys can you know see what's going on um, so now we're going to animate this so that this plane comes up when I want it to. So our start frame is going to be zero because, you know, um, and it, I'm going to make sure our plane on frame zero is uh, G Z moved down here, right out of the way of the text. So you can please you can completely see the text now. I'm going to hit I to insert a location keyframe. Then I'm going to go to maybe frame 30 and hit G Z and move our plane up to about there and then hit I location. Now, when we play this, you can see that our plane will move up into the word text. Now, I want to go ahead and turn this frame rate up. So we'll go to the scene tab here and change our frame rate to 60 because that looks better. Uh, and now it's much smoother and it's a little faster. So I'll go ahead and, and select this keyframe by clicking it, hitting G and then just moving it over to frame 50. So now when we play this, you can see we have something like that, which looks good. But my friends, I want to rotate this because it kind of goes up straight, which I don't really like. So I'm going to hit RY and just offset it just a little bit, just like that, RY. And now it kind of goes up like that, which looks much cooler, in my opinion. So we'll go ahead and go to the Material tab, get a nice place, go to Rendered Viewport Shading once again. Now you can see we kind of have a different color there. I'm going to go ahead and hit New to add in another new material. This will be called Red or whatever color you want to use. I'll change the base color to, of course, Red. Uh, um, a little, little bit of pink in there, soften it up a little bit. There we go. So now you can see if I play this, the text just appears, which is nice, which is looks looks really cool. Uh, I'm going to change my frame in frame to frame 80 and call it a day. There we go. So if we play this over and over again, you can see that now the text kind of appears out of nowhere. And if you want it to disappear out of nowhere, you can go ahead and turn your in frame up to maybe 110 and then go ahead and copy the 50th keyframe, the second one, to frame uh 70 and then f and then the, the first frame where it's off of the camera hit shift d duplicate it and then put it on 110 i'm gonna move this one up a little bit to 90 make that one a bit quicker there we go so now we play this comes up goes down comes up goes down now what we can also do is we can rotate it so it doesn't go back down the same way so like on frame 90 we'll go ahead and turn solid viewport shading and my overlays back on i will hit r y and then rotate it the other way Hit I, uh, rotation. Now the thing is, it's it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna be weird on this side now. So we gotta insert a keyframe over here too. So I'll hit R Y, I location. If I want to, I can go ahead and on the zero frame, I can hit uh, location, and then on maybe twenty, I can hit locate I location. On the first one, I'll hit G Z, move it down just a little tiny bit, and then hit I location. And now since our plane is still in our red plane is in focus i'm gonna go ahead and move that down too so g z move that down out of the out of the way hit i location now when this plays the word text moves up a little bit with the uh with the red when it comes in you can barely see it i like it i like it perfect and you did once again you do the same exact thing on the other side i'm gonna also smooth this this motion out by selecting our white hitting i location and then just moving this frame uh, down a little bit so it kind of smooths up instead of just like harshly stops because right now you see that the, the text movement kind of just stops like hard like like boom right there i want to go ahead and move this down a little bit hit gz move it down just a little tiny bit and hit i location now we can have something that's much more smooth there you go so it looks better um i love it i love it to death looks super cool hope you boys and girls enjoyed it we are done now uh, i'll see you in the next tutorial but until then Bye-bye.